Hey everyone, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. We're here in West Glacier today, boondocking out by a river in Montana, and it is a beautiful location. We wanted to take a moment to uh, talk to y'all today about our WeBoost cell booster and how it gives us some awesome cell service, even out here in the boonies. WeBoost hooked us up with an awesome cell booster with the trucker antenna, and we've had time to test it out and get to know it a little bit and see how it works, and we wanted to give you our honest and unbiased review. So yeah, we'll take you over to our camper and show you where it's installed and tell you a little bit about the installation and how it works. So that's our camper there in the background and you can notice on the top back corner there is that big antenna. It's a little bulky but that's what they call the OTR uh, cell booster antenna and it's proven to be pretty strong. Yeah, it's the bulkiest antenna they have and it really pulls in some powerful strength of that signal. It's made for truckers, so you know you're supposed to mount it on the side of a truck window, and it gives the truckers, you know, the great access on the interstates where the signal might be weak. But we found for our RV here out uh, in the boonies, we've been able to pick up a 4G T-Mobile service from what we got as an unusable service before that. And it was a simple modification to get it to fit on top of our camper. We mounted like uh, a metal post yeah. on a, a metal plate and uh, just attached it right to that and it works out great and it also probably helps the signal a little bit. But if you have like a flagpole or some sort of rod already or on your camper, ladder on the back, yeah, ladder would, would be, be perfect. Great. And uh, so the good thing about this OTR antenna is that our camper is made of fiberglass which we would have to have, have installed a metal plate beneath it for the smaller antennas to work. But this OTR antenna has a metal plane area already built in it to really increase the signal we're getting. So we can show you inside the mechanisms where it's installed into and how it's routed in there. So we routed in the wires underneath our solar panels and brought it in through the same outlet that we brought our solar panel wires in and ran it to the front of the camper. We wanted to place the booster as far away from the antenna outside as possible so there wasn't any interference. Yeah, and the inside antenna is pretty small and it comes with some built-in Velcro so it's easy to place and also mm -hmm. you can remove it from the Velcro and kind of move it around if you need to mm -hmm. alter a weak signal. But we find that the signal amplifies inside of our camper's living area very well and our hotspot's located right below it, which makes for, you know, a really strong signal for the hotspot. Yep, and it helps to have that antenna, like ours is pointed down right now, so it's not facing back towards the antenna. That also helps keeping them from talking to one another, and yeah. especially because our camper is made of fiberglass, there's nothing to help, like, create a barrier between them. So, let's turn the Wii Booster on and see what happens with our hotspot. So our booster has a 12 volt outlet, so we're gonna plug that in. And once we get it plugged in, we just switch the switch on the opposite side here. And it immediately comes on and the light should be a solid green. And that's how you know you're getting good power and good signal. So that is the Weeboo Cellular Booster at work. We've had a good experience with it here and it's changed our entertainment from downloaded podcasts to be able to stream Hulu and Netflix. It was really great that it took an unusable signal and turned it into a, at times, strong 4G signal that we could stream off of. So that's been really great and it really improves our quality of life when we're out in the middle of nowhere and you feel disconnected from everyone, we can still stay connected. Yep. And if fast internet is a concern to you, if like four or five megs makes a difference, we've seen like a 20% increase in areas where we already have a strong signal. The Weeboos can give us like a slightly stronger signal or a slightly faster upload speed. Those things aren't very important to us. You know, we pretty much just need a usable 4G connection and we can do everything we need to do with it. Definitely, but it's also good to keep in mind if there's just no signal in the area, it's not gonna pull a signal out of nowhere. And if you have great signal in an area, it's probably not gonna get much yeah. better than that because it just can't. Yeah. So it's, it's good to be realistic about it and know that you're looking to low to medium signal areas to boost it to a strong, good signal. And if you're interested in the WeBoost product, we'll link it below. As we said before, you know, WeBoost was kind enough to give us this product to test out. 
So these are our true opinions, but we did not buy it. But you know, if we had the money right now, we would have definitely purchased that now definitely that we know how well it works. It's definitely a must have and has totally improved our arsenal of staying connected on the road, especially if you run a business or just yeah. want to stay connected with family and friends. It's, it's changed our life really. So thanks for watching the video, y'all. That's the WeBoost Cell Booster. We're driving and vibing, and we'll see you next time. For more information about the WeBoost Cellular Booster, click on the link in the top right corner.